What's good, y'all? It's your boy Eternal Man back with another one. We got Ozark, man, season three, episode two, yo. Um, first things first, shout out to my subscribers, man. Appreciate all y'all. Hope y'all are safe and doing well. Um, last week, uh, well, last episode was crazy, man. Um, it was a perfect intro. You feel me? We set up in the casino straight. Everything's good with the casino. Only problem is Helen and the cartel want to fucking move, launder money through there, move money through there, and Marty's not with none of that. I agree with him, uh, and I do, and I fuck with Wendy. I know I fuck with Wendy, but she is doing a little too much. You feel me? And especially behind Marty's back, cause that's not cool at all. You feel me? The the way they're both playing it, bro, is gonna get somebody killed. <laughs> when with somebody always dies when these motherfuckers is not on the same page, so. Um, choices, man, real shit. Uh, and um, with Frank Jr. With, and what happened with Ruth, bro, there's gonna be repercussions. There has to be, because he's a bitch. <laughs> and he'll take it there. He seems like someone who will do something stupid. You feel me? So this is gonna be interesting, man. Shout out to my subscribers. Appreciate all y'all. And yeah, man, I'm ready. Let's get it. It goes a little something like this. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Man, fuck Please all that. Excuse God damn, bro. Fuck dear. all of that. So obviously it's something home. fucked up about the girl. There. Now, phone. Phone. Give me your fucking phone. He need to lower his phone. fucking phone. tone. Phone. That's what he need to do. Right. What he doing? He about to throw away this shit? Emotional fucking terrorist. What he about to do? <laughs> what the fuck? He gotta be so fucked up, bro. I'm oh, fuck him up if I'm in. What the fuck wrong with that? Oh, oh my god. Oh, wow. Okay, there's something wrong with him mentally. He has. Your son threatened to rat us out. That's bullshit. Is true. That's how you know he a child. He should have never said shit. You really want to do this with everything I know about you? Yeah, motherfucker. You're not gonna take her word over mine. Fifteen percent. Man, you got me fucked up, nigga. What the fuck, bro? These greedy motherfuckers, man. She's untouchable too. That's right. That's a fact. Real shit, Marty. That's a bar. Come on now. Real shit, brother. Helen's moving here. <laughs> That's just fucking perfect. No, it's a good thing. Bringing her closer. No, that's a bad thing. She's on our side. No, she's not on our side. Hold up, hold up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Exactly. Okay, there's nothing we can do about that now. We're committed. Well, deals go bad. You know, good plans go wrong all the time. And Navarro's a businessman. You understand that. As long as we don't spend a cent of his money, as long as he's whole, we can get out of this before it even begins. We're not getting out of this. Oh, no, it's already done. This is about me finding our only real way out of this. So, you can either be a part of that solution or... Or what? Part of the problem. Yeah, okay. I'm not mad at what Wendy's trying to do, but I don't like how her viewpoint on all this shit, you feel me? Like, Helen is not our friend, my nigga. Ain't none of them our friends. Because like Marty says, bro, until shit goes left, then we gonna see. But... Yeah, I agree with Marty right there. What if he held on? This is just one man telling another man not to give up on his dreams. I mean, you, your, your financials are not great, but you could stay. So this is how we going to go about this? This is how we going to play this game, bro? Predators during that. Bro, fuck these two, bro. Fuck him and fuck Wendy, bro. They going to fuck everything up, man. Does this mean you've thought through our offer? We have, and we're saving you the hassle of sending that paper. <laughs> oh, this this round go to Marty, boy. <laughs> what were you two talking about? Uh, oh, he up on game, boy. It's just you know when things get so hostile so fast, you think I don't know, should I fuck that up so bad? You see, this is not good, bro. Because really, Wendy, this is this is trying to give out the feeling that we're friends. I can talk to you about my family. I can talk to you about my personal problems. That's not what this needs to be, bro. That's not what this really is. God damn, boy. 
Oh shit, them niggas is headless. <coughs> but was that Navarro's uh, spot that they just pulled up in front of and dumped those bodies? Oh, this crazy motherfucker. Nah, for real, this really is something meant like he has a mental disability. He has something, bro. He's all, cause he's all fine and nice. He probably um he he bipolar or something. Get him the fuck out of here. Go ahead, put your fucking hands on him. Get him. See how that works. <laughs> okay. Fuck with him, bro. Okay. Go ahead, nigga. Fucking do, bro. <laughs> I fuck with him, bro. I'm good friends with the owners, as I'm Wendy Burke's brother. Did you know he was coming to the lake? Do you really think I wouldn't tell you? So they don't fuck. They don't fuck with him like that, and I can already see why they don't. <laughs> Shit, but hey, Marty, that little blonde Nazi thinks Sano's tough. She's kind of cute. Blonde Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> Call her a blind Nazi. That was fucked up. I don't like that. Who's that? Hefe? Oh, yeah, that's Hefe. That's crazy. He looks up and she's gone, boy. I don't like that sneaky shit, man. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Norson, if you don't do the smart thing here, if you'll. Excuse me, I. I, I think what Anita been trying to say don't you deserve to give up those headaches that have kept you shut your ass up don't tell me what I think <laughs> fuck to enjoy your life man fuck them say no nigga fuck them fuck that shit nigga no you getting soft right now <laughs> say fuck <laughs> Now the smart thing is to sell the shit, like real shit. At the price that they offering them, it's, that's the smart thing to do. My boy, that's my boy. <laughs> he added. it. I knew I would feel better by talking to you. You need to stop calling my wife, nigga. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's something in the morning. What the fuck? How was it? <laughs> that's my yeah. Set your ass up, Wendy. Your hair's coming in nice. Man, if you don't get your bitch ass up, I just remember what the fuck she did to Jonah so last season. Get your bitch ass away from us, bro. Children are like corn stalks. They need fresh air and, and sunlight to grow strong. In that right oh seat. Oh my god, bro. It... And I'm sorry that I'm not around more. And I'm sorry for... Uh, I don't know, a whole bunch of other stuff that I can't even think of. Sure Fuck Kelly, man. I don't feel no sympathy for her situation. Fuck her. Just talking to my late husband. Late husband, you body, nigga. <laughs> put that, she put that nigga in the dirt, nigga. That's crazy. You hungry? No, I'm good. Thanks. Man, I would not sit next to that bitch. Good to see you again, Liz. Man, fuck you. You too. This is gonna be wild, bruh. That's wild, my nigga, yo. But we had an agreement. This, this nigga Marty, bro. This nigga Marty won. This is round two, nigga. Marty won this shit. You humiliated my husband. Me? You and that, that lesbian lawyer. He's a weak man and you let him know that. Didn't you? He's a weak oh, man and you let him know. That's <laughs> wrong, bro. That'd be so fucked up, bro. These motherfucking people, these people are wild, bro. Man, I think that the uh, best thing to do is to just be completely honest with you. Um, um, are you asking me to leave? Yeah, get to the fucking point, motherfucker, since you want to tell the truth or be honest with one another. <laughs> Fuck, no, nigga. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Marty don't know how to deal with this shit. Okay. Where it's coming from is that I'm starting to sense that you two aren't exactly on the same page about this expansion plan. Very perceptive. Mm. I like it. As you know, I, I don't like to take on unnecessary risk. I'm not talking about philosophical differences. I'm talking about something deeper. Oh, yeah. When you have problems, they become my problems. I think you should be having this conversation with the both of us. Wendy isn't the issue here. <laughs> Damn, bro. This is fire. <laughs> Yo, this is fire. Ready? On everything, bro. Amber. Go. 
Yeah, this is fire, my nigga. Yo. Yeah, they snapped, bro. Wendy just snapped. Wendy and Ruth just snapped. They taking it there. They don't give a fuck. Hey, so is this legal? Hell no, nah, it ain't legal. What the fuck? <laughs> the shit is that? I mean, right now, tell me what you're doing. I'm using the slot scam I told you about on Big Muddy, forcing them back to the negotiating table. No, no, Why? no, 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 no. no. <laughs> you have to stop it. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you, you made a big deal about how I'm not supposed to be bringing problems, how I'm supposed to be solving. That's a fact. I mean, I'm just That's a fact. Okay, but you're not. You're completely screwing us. But how did she know that, bro? You're not being transparent with her. How the fuck? To the do fuck? It? Are you fucking kidding me, Marty? Wendy has absolutely no idea what is good. Yeah, she doesn't. Ruth doesn't fault? know that, though. Is that my fault that you can't communicate for shit with your wife? Right, thank you. That's a bar, nigga. Now, how about instead of shitting on me, you get your own house in order. That's a bar. And until you do, how about you fuck Real up? shit, bro. I fuck with you, bro. And she really standing up even on Marty. Like, it don't matter. Like, she really is evolving. I fuck with that. But she, he's not being transparent and up front with Ruth about everything that's going on. So you can't be mad at her going along with some shit that Wendy got going on. You feel me? Because she don't know the ins and outs of what's going on between y'all relationship and the cartel. So that's Marty's fault, bro, on everything. He should have not got mad at her. Of, well, I'd say 200 grand. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> Wendy is the hardest nigga in the game, bro. She gonna take it there every time, bro. What we'd like is for you to get the hell out of our casino. The longer you hold on, <laughs> the lower our offer drops. Real shit. Since your slots are hemorrhaging, uh, we'll kick out the cheaters. So what? We'll bring in different people. Thank you. Every day, we'll unplug the machines, stop the bleeding. You gonna lose money. Well, the fuck? according to your financials, Slots bring in 80% of your revenue. It's a bar, nigga. Come on now. We ready. We prepared. <laughs> Yo. Wait, you know how to get shit done way more than fucking Marty, man. That shit's crazy. He un he tried to fuck up her plan twice, nigga, and she still came out on top, man. That's crazy. Man. Wait, you always have the kids' best interest at heart. Ooh! <laughs> Yo. <laughs> She's heartless, bro, to call that nigga right before this happens to him. Unless she don't, he, she don't know. Yeah, she know. What the fuck? <laughs> this bitch is ruthless, bro. This bitch ain't nothing good about her, bro. Real talk. Man, fuck you. Get the fuck out my face, nigga. A warrant signed by a federal judge. Oh. That was triggered the minute you purchased a second casino. Marty was right, bro. <laughs> Marty was right, my nigga. They make shit, yo, Wendy is making shit hot, bro. Yo. Wow, they don't even know it. Oh, they about to know. Let's go. Drop that bomb on their ass, Marty. Drop that bomb. We've got new partners in the casino. Drop that bomb, nigga. You fuck. Yo, that was Ozark season three, episode two, man. That was dope. Again, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm loving the conflict here, bro, between w Wendy and Marty. I really am. But it's bullshit at the same time. Like, come on, man. It is some bullshit and a little annoying to fucking watch, but, it, it, but it's dope as shit. You feel me? It has its flaws, but it, it's dope as shit, man. And the way they ended it off with just the whole episode being focused on this one thing and finally it's done. And at the end, getting revealed the, the consequences, the repercussions of these actions and these choices, you feel me? So just to end it off with the feds right there, um, pulling up and saying, hey, the fact that y'all got this dude casino, that's it. That's all we needed to get y'all asses, and now we in this bitch. So that, 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 was, that was dope. That was real dope. Starting off with Wendy's um, brother. And real, I ain't gonna fucking lie, I do not remember his name right now, but, um, dope character. I, I like him, real shit. Um, at first, my first impressions and first glance of him, I, I like him. He, he, he seems like a good dude, a caring dude, you know, nice, but he has some kind of mental problem. I don't know whether he's bipolar 
or it's some some other um, mental health condition, but he has a problem. You feel me? And when he gets angry, he gets angry. And when someone even fucking antagonizes that anger, he gets even more angry. Like it takes it to another level. So that's gonna be he's he's a fucking ticking he's a ticking bomb. Um, ticking clock bomb or whatever on, on his way to implode, like, real shit. Eventually, he's gonna get them fucked up and jammed up, eventually, off of doing something. But, um, I liked his character. I like how, now, obviously, due to his mental health problems, he's fucking, he should never been yelling at them children in that classroom. But, I agree with him standing up for the little girl. You feel me? Um, and so that was dope. Uh, and the fact that he threw all their fucking rolls, <laughs> that shit's funny, bro. I'd have sued his ass, bro. <laughs> if I was their parents, bro, he, he, that nigga getting arrested. He getting sued, bro. But um, that was a dope introduction to his character. Not gonna lie, that showed, that showed a lot about who he is um, throughout that whole uh, scene. But moving forward, Kansas City and the repercussion for what happened with uh, Frank Jr. and Ruth. And... Yo, F Frank Jr. is a fucking little girl, bro. That nigga is a fucking little bitch and a little girl, and he don't... He don't speak the truth, bro. He ain't an honest person, bro. He's a bitch. He's a pussy, like, real shit. But, um... As a man and, like, morals and shit. I'm not saying he's a pussy, like, he wanna fucking kill you. I'm not saying that, but... As a man and morals, like, he's a bitch. I agree with how the Kansas City mob was playing it, like, a little bit, because... A made man is untouchable. You feel me? Ain't nobody can touch that person unless you get word from the boss and you have a sit down and you get the okay. So I, I understand that they want repercussions and that Ruth is really liable to get bodied in this in this instance, bro. If we look at it from their world and their perspective. But uh, Marty, you know, wasn't gonna let that shit happen. You feel me? He made it so that she's untouchable too and they get some extra bread. So, whatever, everybody wins, everybody's happy, but this shit gonna continue to intensify between Frank Jr. And, and Ruth, I already know. I loved that whole first conversation with Marty and Wendy. Um, I really, truly loved that first conversation of the episode in the, I think it was the Bird Enterprise office. So, I agree with Marty, bro. I, I, rock, bro, I still rock with Wendy, I don't give a fuck. Cause she, I don't, she just, she made all this possible. Without her in season two, none of this shit would be here right now in season three, you feel me? So, I love her. I love her tactics. Um, I do not... I agree with undermining Marty when it's something that needs to be done. And Marty just can't do it. Or won't do it. You feel me? And that was many... There was many instances like that in season two. But right now, I, I really do. I do agree with Marty. Real shit. Uh, I love that first conversation. And he was... And, what did he? I can't remember exactly where for what was said, but basically he told her he's like, bro, oh, um, Helen's moving up here or whatever for the summer or whatever, and Wendy's all happy about that, and Marty's like, what the fuck, nigga? These niggas ain't our friends, bro. They not our friend. They they're our friends for she can be, she can act all cool with us and act like we friends until shit go left, and then we gonna see. What the fuck? Like, so I agree perfectly with Marty, bro. Don't look at these people as your friends. Don't look at these people as someone that's uh, on your side. None of that shit. I feel him. So, but uh, but it is true that they are committed. Like, they're in this shit now, bro. Whether they like it or not. And if they escape... I mean, it just all has to do with how do you want to live. You feel me? Wendy says fuck it and wants to keep living this life and take it as far as she wants to fucking go. And then Marty is cool with leaving and being on the run. Wendy doesn't want to live like that. You feel me? She ain't with that. So I see the, the comparison contrast. I see um, what both sides are saying. You feel me? And right at this point in time, like I really was with Wendy, but at the same time right now, I, I don't know which one is the right choice. But in the end, they gonna get jammed up. I don't know how this shit go ahead, but they, they, I don't, bro, I don't know. We, we'll talk about that at another time, but um, I love that first conversation, man. Real shit, these motherfuckers is not your friends, dog. Then we get to the whole undermining and shit. We, then we get to the whole uh, Wendy wanting to get the other casino and all that. 
and Marty tried, Marty fucked her, bro, the first time. They were really gonna go through with it. They were gonna take that fucking deal until Marty fucking um spoke with uh old dude on the side and said, put you know, basically antagonize and put words into his head or whatever to get him to think harder and say, fuck it. We don't we don't want the deal. So then Wendy's fucked right there, but Wendy comes fucking back. Ten times hard And Wendy knew that He fucking did it Wendy knew it was Marty You feel me So when uh, Wendy went back To uh, renegotiate This time with Helen She was smart This time She's like Bro I'm not bringing That nigga with me bro. But um So they go And They give him a better offer Which they should have Took that offer Real shit They were stupid Not to go agree And take that deal But um That never happened um, that never happened, so... Oh, because what did Marty... Marty fucking fucked something else up. What did he do again? Oh, he got the, um... He got Kansas City to go and blow up the, the shit, so... That, um... The people were like... The owners of the other casino didn't want to, um... Sell anymore. Because now they don't have no problems no more. Since that other casino is gone now. So... Wendy already knew what was up. And because of Wendy's facial expressions... Gave off to Helen, letting Helen know that Marty is a part of this shit. Mar- well, part Marty does not want this to go through, and this is all his doing. You feel me? So that was all dope and interesting. That whole confrontation between Marty and Helen was dope, where she she like said to him like, "Yo, nigga, I know it's you. You feel me? And this is gonna be this is gonna be a problem that she knows that Marty." Is not really rolling along with what Navarro and all of them want. You feel me? So that's gonna be a problem in the future, man. This shit gonna get wild. But um, Wendy comes through yet again, bro, and, and comes with listens to Ruth and what Ruth is saying. You feel me? And and utilizes um her strength, utilizes that shit, which is the opposite of fucking what Marty does when it comes to Ruth, bro. Ruth can fucking give her a big... I mean, Ruth can tell him a whole big idea and all this shit, but he don't want to fucking fully listen and go along with it. So, hey, that's his loss, bro. He he, did, he had no right to be mad at fucking Ruth for doing what he did with um Wendy, which was fucking genius. That was, that was, that was fire, bro, to fuck up that whole casino that way by having everybody fucking win and now they're losing so much money that, yo, Wendy still got it, man. Wendy won this round. She won this round this episode, so I'm real curious to see what's gonna happen in the next. Um, Helen has her problems with her fucking her baby daddy or whatever, and fuck got him fucked up. Yeah, their relationship is is fucked up. The fucking relationship between Helen and her daughter is all fucked up, and I don't see that shit getting any better. Okay, Navarro calling Wendy in the middle of the fucking night. Like, what the fuck is going on, bro? That nigga like her, man. That's too, it's too much like that. That nigga like her, bro. In the middle of the fucking night, bro. I, I don't know. That was wrong to me. I, I wasn't with that. And I'm still with Marty fucking listening to all these conversations because he should know what the fuck is going on. You feel me? That, like, that's wrong. You, you talking with the boss, bro. You not letting me know? That's crazy. Yo, Jonah really needs like some homies or something. He needs to find some homies and, and find some form of a social life. You feel me? Because he's the only one that's not around nobody. You feel me? So, I want to see him uh, make a couple friends. But I ain't forcing him to. I wouldn't try to force him like his parents are forcing him. Like, you do what you want to do. But this might be, this might detrimentally, like, hurt you in the long run by not being social at this point in time of your, like, at this age that you're at. You feel me? So, I would let him know those things, man. But he got to find his way, real talk. Um... What, uh, uh, what's her name? Um, that bitch, Darlene, bro. Darlene and why? I don't know what the fuck going on there, but and I don't know where, where 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 this is gonna lead to the future. Like their storyline, like I don't I don't know what's to come. I don't really have no idea. I barely care for it right now, to be honest with you, because I don't really care for Darlene shit unless she's being savage. You feel me? But uh, she's still talking with Mr. Snell. She bodied his ass. That's crazy. But um. Yeah, man, another great episode. Uh, the brother's not going anywhere. <laughs> but, um, so he's dope, man. I can't wait to see uh, what um, is going to happen in the future with just all of them. 
You feel me? So, great episode, man. Um, shout out to my subscribers. Appreciate all y'all. Y'all be safe and have a good day.